think, I mean, to me, the economy is the sum total of all of the work that we do. I mean, starting with, you know, making dinner and taking care of the kids uh, to things like volunteering and arts and culture, all of these in addition to the provision of, of goods and services that we do for each other uh, for money in, in the marketplace. Um, and what I learned in my ecological economics um, almost 30 years ago now uh, is that economy and ecology have the same uh, Greek root, uh, oikonomia, uh, which basically means management of the household for the benefit of all members. Um, and one of the ecological economists I studied back then, Herman Daly, uh, he says that much of economics has shifted away from becoming oikonomia to what he calls crematistics, the maximization of short-term profit. And sure enough, to David Suzuki's point, and I'm a huge David Suzuki fan, you know, going way back, um, we have to understand the human economy as a subset of the biosphere. Uh, so the wastes that we produce from our economic activities, whether that's air or water pollution, carbon emissions, uh, and more the more of the depletion of natural resources um, together threaten human civilization uh, as we know it, and possibly much more uh, apocalyptic outcomes. So uh, we need to, you know, rethink our our, our sense of, of what the economy is and who it's for, and then how that is embedded and and ideally is somewhere in harmony uh, with the rest of the natural world. And um, also kind of a back, back to basics question, the way that we talk about the economy, at least in, in the kind of mainstream dialogue and politics, uh, that the idea of growth is kind of completely tied up in, in how we see the economy. So I wanted to ask you your, your thoughts on growth being kind of the main purpose of the economy. And, um, and if not growth, kind of what do you see the, it, the, the purpose of the economy? Yeah, I mean, I think in a, a capitalist economy, growth, you know, is is paramount. Uh, and in addition, you know, that's kind of how we roll. The human population uh, continues uh, to grow. I think, you know, the, the number of humans on the planet has basically doubled uh, since the time that I was born. Uh, and the income per person uh, has, uh, has also continued to grow. Um, that said, I think there's a lot, and this is where the climate justice piece comes in, there's uh, huge discrepancies, huge inequalities in who benefits uh, from that growth and who benefits from using fossil fuels. Um, so ultimately, you know, this is really about the, the growth and the amount of resources that are consumed by the top tier of humanity, you know, the top, you know, 10 to 15 percent. Uh, and the amount of wastes uh, and resource depletion uh, that we, you know, collectively uh, impose on the planet, often for, you know, very frivolous things. Um, meanwhile, you know, huge portions of human civilization are, are very poor and don't necessarily benefit from, from that economic growth. So I think, in, you know, coming back to the idea of what, it was in, what is an economy for, um, we, you know, we need to use our collective wealth and intelligence uh, to build an economy that ensures we meet uh, everyone's basic needs. Uh